Hello and welcome to Strength Reversed. My name is Amy. Thanks for joining me today. If you are a new subscriber, thank you so much and welcome. And thanks to all my old subscribers. And if you're not a subscriber, um, I won't take that personally. Today is the second installment in my Tarot and Chakras mini series. And today I'm talking about the Sacral Chakra. This is also called Svadhisthana. And if you missed the Root Chakra video, I'll link that somewhere. Um, the color that is usually associated with this chakra is orange, so I decided to dress the part today. And I do have some notes so I don't forget anything. Um, if you are like WTF is a chakra, chakra is just an energy center. If you imagine your energy running along your body, it would hit all of the chakras. So it is a symbolic energy center and each one represents something different. This is the energy center that is associated with creation. So anything having to do with creation of any kind, whether it's art, whether it's um, creating your to-do list, whether it is creating a human being, has to do with this chakra. So creation, procreation, sexuality, expression, fun, inspiration, um, destruction in the sense that you need to get rid of what's not serving you in order to create something new, um, being satisfied with life, finding joy. Those are all associated with the sacral chakra. When I hear all of those things, when I look at my list, to me that says fire energy and wands. However, that's not the element that is associated with this energy center. This, this chakra kind of messes with my mind because this is a very feminine chakra. It's yin energy and it is associated with the element of water. It is the chakra that has to do with emotions and um, with feelings and relationships as well. The chakras, kind of like tarot cards, have this um, sort of breathing in and breathing out. With tarot cards, I see this in um, odd-numbered cards and even-numbered cards. So odd-numbered cards tend to be more active and even-numbered cards tend to be more resting or more um, receptive or passive. And it's the same with the chakra system. The root chakra is very masculine in energy and then the next chakra, the sacral chakra, is very feminine, and it kind of goes back and forth like that. It, it like undulates. So this is a feminine energy center, and we associate it with the element of water, which is kind of weird. Now, even though a lot of times um, we might think of this chakra as orange, traditionally it is a six-petaled lotus, and in the center is a white crescent moon, reminiscent of the high priestess. Especially, I should have pulled out the, um, the RWS version of the high priestess with the moon at her feet. This one is the robin wood and she has it up here. So this crescent moon is in the middle of this um, lotus flower. If you have anything like citrine or topaz or goldstone or anything in this color scheme of orange that you like to work with, those are good for working with this chakra. Also, if you're into herbs or teas, anything like orange or ginger or um, cinnamon or vanilla is good for working with this chakra. The association with water also makes this the center of our emotions. This is the place where we birth things into creation. And for that reason, the card that is associated with the sacral chakra is the Empress. This is a card of the divine feminine and all of the, um, the qualities of the sacral chakra is, are shared with this card. Um, excitement, expression, creation, destruction if needed, enjoying life, sexuality, um, finding joy, all of that is, is um, depicted by the Empress card. So that's the card that's associated with the sacral energy center. Um, 
I said in my first video, I thought chakras are, in my mind, they're kind of like your thyroid, where they can be overactive or they can be underactive. And when they're balanced and harmonious, that's the, I guess, ideal place for this to be. So when we think about working with chakras, to me, the goal is to examine our beliefs around all of what the chakra represents and that's how you know what needs to be fixed for example anything that I listed and if I go back like creativity turn that into a question what are my thoughts about creativity or um, am I creative or what do I feel when I think of the word creativity do I feel inspired do I feel excited or do I feel a lot of pressure <laughs> or dread which is sometimes what I think of when I think of that word so just like a tarot card that is reversed or has a shadow side the chakra also I guess has a shadow side and I I pulled two cards that I thought, you know, because this chakra is a mixture of wands and cups in my mind. So I picked two cards um, that I thought represented possibly this chakra and potential pitfalls. So one was the Knight of Cups. Knights are fire energy. And so this is fire or water in fire. And you know, the Knight of Cups, he is full of emotion. He wears his emotion on his sleeve. He loves being in love. He's very, he's very emotional, but maybe not so much mature about that. He can't um, express his emotions maybe in a way that doesn't hurt other people. So he might be in love, but he's not in love for long. So he doesn't have a whole lot of, um, it doesn't last, I guess. He's so wishy-washy because of all the water that it doesn't last. And then the other card I chose is the Queen of Wands. Queens are water. So this is fire in water instead of water and fire. And she is a mover, a shaker. She's very cosmopolitan in my mind. She gets things done. She's very action oriented. She's full of creativity. She's full of energy. Um, she's full of joy and expression. But if you think about how water and fire interact, they're ill dignified. And if you have too much fire, it's easy to burn out. And it's also easy to not be, if you're, if you're doing a lot, it's easy to not be very aware of your emotions. To me, this chakra, keeping it balanced is sort of that place where there's enough heat, but not so much that it boils the water away and not so little that the water um, overwhelms us. So I have a list here. This is what a balanced sacral chakra might look like acting on your creativity, self-expression, finding joy in life, um, healthy boundaries, healthy relationships, healthy sexual expression, emotional maturity. This is what we all strive for, <laughs> right? But if it gets out of whack, either way, you might have a lack or you might have too much. So if that were reversed, if I think about all of the qualities of, for example, an empress reversed, it might be a lack of joy. Or on the other hand, it might be, um, I guess what we would call toxic positivity where it's a, almost a denial of anything that is negative or a denial of a shadow aspect. Um, not acknowledging emotions or being all about emotions and overly emotional and letting emotions control you. Feeling guilty or um, instant gratification. Weak boundaries or having um, exaggerated boundaries where you have a wall up and nobody gets close. Low libido or sexual repression or maybe you're a hornbag. <laughs> 
if you watch Kath and Kim, then you get that reference. Um, lack of inspiration or being so inspired that um, it's almost paralyzing. Maybe nothing gets done. That to me is like the Seven of Cups. You have lots of ideas, but nothing gets done because you don't really know even where to start. One of the things that um, kind of had a charge for me was self-expression and because I a lot of times feel stuck in that area. So I'm probably going to journal a lot about this later, but I pulled two cards, one for self-expression and just how that's represented and another one for what I need to think about in that regard because I feel like that's one of the areas where I'm a little out of whack and I maybe could meditate or journal um, with this energy center in mind and so the card that I pulled for self-expression was the Knight of Swords. So this is express, expressing myself not necessarily in a creative way, but just out loud. A lot of times I feel like I'm very blunt <laughs> and that can work against me and I'm aware of that. Um, sometimes it's not a fault, but sometimes, sometimes it, it can be less than productive if my message is lost in the delivery. So sometimes because of that, because I'm aware of that, I just shut up because I don't want to say the wrong thing and I'm used to being misunderstood. And so I need to work on self-expression just as it, when it comes to how I communicate, especially when I'm very emotional. Um, and the card that came up for me to keep in mind was the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> And I think that means two things. One is shit happens, okay? Sometimes shit happens and you say something and it came out wrong or somebody, it's not what you meant and you feel misunderstood and that sucks, but you know, forgive yourself and move on. But also, I think I need to be aware of my um, moods and my emotions and I'm just one of those people that when I'm amped up about something, I want to talk about it now. I'm not good at stuffing and leaving it till a more productive time. <laughs> it's like, we're going to hash this out right now. And so I think I need to be more aware of um, my emotions <laughs> when I express myself. And that is also connected to um, emotional maturity and having a healthy relationship with emotions. Not letting, not being over emotional, but also not denying emotions either. So I think I need to acknowledge my emotions and maybe um, um, kind of get right with my emotions before my mouth opens. <laughs> Okay, I think that's good advice for everyone. Get right with yourself before you open your mouth. I think I'm going to do more work on expression because it's not just, you know, actual expressing yourself in words. I think I need to work on other ways of expressing myself because sometimes I feel uh, frustrated or shut down. Um, I don't always say what I'm thinking, believe it or not. This is actually the censored version of me. That's frightening, I know. Thanks for joining me for the sacral chakra and the next one is going to be the solar plexus. And um, let me know what cards come up for you if you decide to pull some cards on any of these issues or maybe meditate on a card while you are focusing on your chakras. Do you have stuff with, um, you know, expressing yourself or being creative or um, birthing your plans into action? If so, the sacral chakra is a good place to meditate or journal or pull some tarot cards. Let me know what cards that you picked for your sacral chakra. Thanks, guys.